Introduction to Prakites Filters, a unique way to organize your data dynamically to increase usability and to save time. We'll start creating simple filters based on custom and system fields in each of the test management modules. While our example will present filters based on the most common list field type, it is important to mention that filters can be created based on any type of field, including entity name and tags. Creating a filter based on custom fields. Let's begin by creating a new custom field under settings. Scrolling down, we'll select create custom field and fill in the field name. Select the field format, in this example, list, and we'll add our field values. Below that, we'll define where we want to have this field appear in this case, in our tests module. After saving, we'll see our newly created field. Going back to the test library, we can create or select an existing test and see our recently created custom list type field. Let's give it a value here and save. Again, in the test library, we'll create a filter based on our new custom field. We'll click on New Filter, fill in the filter name. Below that, we'll define the filter criteria. In this example, our new feature field and the value condition is feature one. Further down, we can add or remove fields from the test library grid view. In this example, we'll add our new feature field and remove test steps. Then we'll click Create Filter. Back in the test library, we can now see our new Feature 1 filter on the left, and in the grid view on the right, the test we just modified with the Feature 1 value. This dynamic way of displaying information in PractiTest exists in all the modules. Creating a filter based on existing system fields. In this example, we'll be creating a filter in the Test Sets and Runs module. Starting in the Test Sets and Runs, we'll click on Create Filter. In this example, I want to create a filter for all test sets that are assigned to me. And so the filter criteria here will be accordingly assigned to is current user. And we can see that this assigned to field is already displayed in the module grid, which is what we wanted. So we'll hit create filter. As we are redirected back into the test sets and runs grid view, we can see our new filter and all the test sets assigned to me along with their run status and more information. For one last example of the simple filters functionality, we'll go to the issues module and create a filter based on the last modified system field. Again, we'll click on Create Filter and add in the filter name and criteria. In this case, last modified in the last four weeks. Below, the last modified field is already displayed, but I can also add fields, for instance, the custom test cycles fields for additional reference and click Create Filter. Now in the Issues module grid, I see my filter and all related fields I defined. We could even create sub-filters based on cycles and further filter our results. All that and more in our next Filters video.